I remember the first time I ever did cocaine. It makes me want to touch my fucking dick even hearing about it. He he said, I have cocaine. Is it safe? And he was like, yeah, it's totally safe. So we went back. I said, I'll, I'll do something. And he cut a line and uh, he said, snort half of that with one with your nose. Yeah. And he goes, Theo, immediately mm -hmm. from this tooth over and this tooth over mm -hmm. went ice numb. The whole side of my face. And mm -hmm. I went, I was like, whoo. I felt whoo. And my first thought was, I could walk outside mm -hmm. and rip a tree out of the ground mm -hmm. and carry it around tonight. But I'm so smart that I won't do that. Because mm -hmm. if they see me with a tree, they'll go, he's on cocaine. Mm -hmm. So I'm not ripping trees out. I don't ever do this right. All right. So you do it in your ass. How do you do it in your ass? I'll show you. Give me this. Hang on. Hang on. Stop. I don't like the way you're handling my gear. Okay. So number one, you go like this. Boom. There you go. All right. Okay. Now I'll show you. All right. Here, you hold my gear. Okay. And then where do you do it? So like right, I go right here. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Ready? Yep. Boom. How'd you do that so quick? Oh, I can feel it. Oh, dude. <laughs> Thanks right. for shooting up my gear. No problem, bro. Celebrate Joey Diaz for the rest of my life. I love that guy. I call him. I'm in a legit panic attack. I call him <laughs> and I go, Joey, Ari just mollied me. And he goes, the words out of his mouth. Dog, I'll be there at five. Shows up, takes the other half of whatever molly Ari yeah. has. He eats it and he sits bathing in the sunlight of a setting sun in my backyard telling me, cocksucker, you ain't gonna die. We're not dying tonight, okay? Let me tell you some stories. I'm a ride or die for that motherfucker. To that moment when he goes, dog, I'll be there at five. Yeah. And he showed up, you know, you know how Joey is with time. Yeah. He showed up in five. You love to booze, don't you? You love to drink. I do. You booze till you snooze. Dude, let me tell you something. I will never quit drinking. Mm. I will never quit drinking. I will always make sure that I can keep my body healthy enough so that I can always drink. I love seeing a sunrise with a cocktail, seeing a sunset with a cocktail, having friends walk into your house with a bottle of wine, getting on a plane. Can I get you something? Double Jack on the rocks, lots of rocks. I love the moment someone says, hey, we should get a drink. And, you, and you're and you not supposed to. That feeling, it's like a first kiss. You don't get that first kiss when, kisses when you're married. You get to have those first drinks. At a brunch, someone goes, should we do mimosas? And then the waiter goes, actually, we have bottomless mimosas. And you're like, this is gonna be the best day ever. Dude, you just hype me the fuck up. <laughs> you just hype me up, bro. That was like a locker room speech. Yeah. I'd love to party with Kim Jong Un. That's a good target. With my creativity and his assets, we could have one hell of a time. Yeah. Is he down? <laughs> this isn't the interview. I think he'd like my brand. You actually would go to NK? Yeah. Bro, do you understand what they would do to you there? It's so an open paper mache. Yeah. You ever been origami? <laughs> have I ever been origami? <laughs> By the way, I just want to just tell y'all, I am. Eh? Mixing whiskey with whiskey. Yeah, I know. I feel this, like we're this, eating. I feel like we're eating a cheeseburger with sliders. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing. That's exactly. What's the drunkest you've been? The top five drunkest I've been probably, uh, sadly, are, are the last couple episodes of Rogan, because and which is really scary. Like the last episode, last time I did Rogan, I was so drunk. I don't remember. I don't remember what we said for the last two and a half hours. And then someone was like, dude, what did you say? And I was like, why? They're like, they took the episode down. And I went, and your heart sinks. And right, like, right. And, and I, by the way, I could not recollect anything I said. I, I, not one thing, not one, not one. I don't remember any, like people started texting me going, hey, thanks for the kind words. And I was like, cool. I guess when I get <laughs> drunk, I'm sweet. I, I was like, I, I just like a lot of people. Yeah. So I was just, I must have yeah. said nice things about everyone, but like, I don't fucking know. And I was like, maybe I said that COVID was created in the lab. I don't know. <laughs> I come back and see what's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> so they took it down and then they put it back up, but sliced it in two episodes. And I was like, ah, I'm certain there's something missing out of the middle. <laughs> I go, I, if I was a Bud Light, this is a commercial I'd make. Dude's on the corner of his bed. He's got a Bud Light in his hand. His chick's behind him. She's like, are we going to do this or what? He's like, no, 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 we're doing it. And he kills the Bud Light. And then he gets in the bed and he sucks his girlfriend's cock. That's the trans commercial I want to see. I like that. Yeah.
That's representative. Yeah. What do you think's worse? A guy who drinks every night starting at like 4.30 until 10 o'clock at night, but then gets up and works out at 8 in the morning, or a guy who starts playing video <laughs> games at 9 o'clock and, and plays until like 6 until in, the in the morning. morning and then sleeps till 3. Who do you think's got more of a problem? The second one. Right? Do you think Bobby would be better off if he just started drinking? Yes. Right? So can I ask you a weird question? Yeah. So are we going to be on testosterone for the rest of our lives? No, not necessarily. Okay. I mean, we're on a low dose, dude. It's not like you're on some bodybuilder dose. I feel it. Yeah, I, I know you I do. I feel it going through my body. Yeah, it's a pretty low dose, dude. When I pu do push-ups, I almost explode off the floor oh, now. Jesus Christ. I can feel it so good. Yeah. You're like, the, I it's, think it's, I, you know you sound exactly like a kindergartner <laughs> when you describe some of the things you feel. <laughs> like, I feel like, watch me jump. Like, that's how I go my four-year-old. He's like, watch this. And um, he's like, <laughs> I feel like I almost went through the ceiling. Like, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I feel like that. I know. I know you do. It's really <laughs> cute. My fucking wife. Leanne was was like, you got a cape? You got a cape? You, hey, boy. This is how Leanne talks. <laughs> I was doing, I'm doing this impression of Leanne and she fucking hates it. And I got off stage in Atlantic City this weekend and uh, Dave Williamson's like, I think you're doing Theo. <laughs> As Leanne? He's like, yeah, Leanne never says gang gang when she sucks your dick. <laughs> gang gang, son. <laughs> oh my God. Dude. Oh, well, you might find this interesting for two bears, one cape. What's up? Your daughter Isla got busted at school for gambling. <laughs> <laughs> she was playing dice. Got busted. I'm like, that's what I tell you. I didn't know you were on. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, she's shooting dice? <laughs> dice! <laughs> yeah, she's playing left, right, center. Oh, fuck. For money. For money at lunch. And she got busted. Wait, is she in trouble? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Jesus Christ. I think she might be in a little bit of trouble. She's gambling at an all-girls Catholic school. <laughs> she is, we were at a family reunion. We met two people. They two people that were related, that were married. She goes, oh, they can, but they ain't blood. I met their kid. They fucking blood. Like, <laughs> they blood. They oh, blood. They, they shook night blood. Like, <laughs> they blood. Oh, my God. <laughs> Take a sip of Kool-Aid. Go ahead. Um, the Kool-Aid? You drink, you're drinking Kool-Aid to start your day? Really? It's so good. What kind? Red. Kool-Aid is fucking awesome. It really is awesome. <laughs> you really drink Kool-Aid? Ice cold. It's ice cold, yeah. You are drinking Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. You're drinking a fucking 64 ounce. Oh, the uh, N-word? Somebody oh, yeah. said it? So <laughs> these black kids lived across the street from us, and they asked if they wanted to play us in football, and they had my football. Mm. When I remember this story, I feel like they were 18, 17. They were probably just like 10 and 11. Yeah. And I was six. Yeah. And they were like, yo, this is football. And they were like, fight him for it. And I was like, I had first grade. I was not fighting anyone. I was wearing a loincloth and knee-high moccasins. Oh, yeah. Just fighting your sexuality, bro. Oh, that time. My dad's like, get him some <laughs> knee pads. He's going to be sucking dick. Oh. And he's going to need knee pads to do it. What a pussy. <laughs> what kind of gay guy puts on knee pads? <laughs> a backup gay dude. But anyway, so these black kids come in the neighborhood and they're like, fight this kid. And I was like, I don't, I've never been in a fist fight. I don't want to be in a fist fight. In my head, I was like, give him the fucking ball. I don't care. My dad already bought me a new one. And the dad comes out and the dad starts chanting, fight, fight. And we're in a white. White don't win. We all jump in. And then he's hitting me. Chant it! And here I am, just some first grader in a loincloth and knee-high moccasins, just fight, fight. I told my dad everything that happened. And we moved out of that neighborhood a month later. This is my favorite slam I've ever done on anyone, is on Franklin Boulevard over by Beachwood. Dude pulls off the 101 onto Franklin, and he almost hits me. And he just cuts in, and I honk, so he almost hit me. Then he gets upset that he that I honked. How dare you honk at me? He's in a van. And he pulls up and he's like, the fuck? What the fuck do you want? And I go, nothing. I, I'm with Leanne and the girls. I go, nothing. He's with his chick. I go, the, you almost hit me. And he goes, I, I didn't. And I said, yeah, I know. Just so you know, both lanes need to be open for you to merge. And he goes, it's not true. And I said, it actually is. 
And then I looked at his girlfriend and I go, why don't you have your fat mom Google it? And immediately it destroyed that woman. She went, I'm not, I'm not that old. Like, ha. Huh? And this guy was like, what? And looked at his chick and you destroyed everything they had. Their night was over. Yeah. They weren't going to have good time because you weren't a fuck with a pro.